Hey, welcome back to Mage Punk. Yay. We're actually yeah. playing again for the first time in forever. Uh, when we last left off, the party had a couple job offers to choose from. It cho cho the they chose to go on the uh, mushroom mission Hit. from Venus to secure a legendary mushroom. Mushrooms. Uh, she would like to grow more from the spores. Uh, the pay will be a 25% discount in the future from her shop, uh, as well as whatever cool shit you find on your way. Uh, now, as for the mushroom itself... Do, 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 do. Where did I put it? I don't know. But I'm going to open a drink. Okay. Sounds delicious. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see, in player's journals, yes. This is what she wants. That's a mushroom. <gasps> yep. A soul cat. Squish. S said to feed on the souls and life energies of the recently deceased. That doesn't uh, sound very nice. Yeah, it's really useful for uh, wizards who don't mind the ethical implications of using them. Those damn unethical wizards. Yeah. Warhein is considering banning them, but at the same... Or making them illegal and purging them when possible, but, uh, you know, there's two horribly aggressive countries. Uh, who One of which who treats all men as slaves, and the other who uh, treats wizards like living batteries, so... Mm. Kind of a lesser problem. True enough. But anyway, she wants you to find some of those. Oh boy. Uh, she does have uh, a location of one in particular uh, that is supposed to be fucking enormous. Okay, I was going to ask. Uh, I don't know if I like that implication. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, supposedly, this cave was where a whole bunch of uh, survivors survivors of the initial... Uh, bomb blast during the Great War, uh, like hid out and tried to survive, and then mm. all wound up dying to fray exposure anyway. Mm. Uh, and uh, her uh, in intel says that the cave has since been taken over by a cult that's worshiping this one gigantic uh, soul cat mushroom. Hmm. hmm. The cult, you say? Yep. Cults are never good. I wonder if it's a fertility cult. Those cults are alright, I suppose. Wouldn't that be swell? It would be swell. Something. As would people's body parts be swelling. I'm pretty sure we did oh, that oh, a session oh. or two ago. Yeah, but always room for more. Yep, 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 yep. Until Thersadi can't move anymore. <laughs> Am I gonna have to, like, bust out the, like, body part volume and weight calculations that Jacques did? I'll do it. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't doubt me. I'll come over there. She's uh, getting to that point, I believe. Uh, so you guys are still doing this, right? As far as I'm aware. All right, it's map time. Map time, map time, map time. So the ruins are supposedly there at the edge of that small mountain range. Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty close. Yes, it is. It is uh, four miles away. Tucked right under your noses this entire time. Do we ever fix our airship? No. Need to I think that. you had an opportunity to get some batteries, and then you decided not to on the moral and ethical, uh, you know, Is that what we were that, there that situation for? presented. Yes. I thought we were there to turn the place back on and make that our base. Also that, uh, but I think the thought was that if it had some sort of power subsystems, there had to be some batteries and such uh, that could uh, potentially be used as fuel. Well, oh well... Guess we're hoofing it. Yeah. Well, four miles aren't isn't too bad. 
You only need to roll for encounters like 10 times. Right? Right? Oh, you're that there. One is... Whoop. You guys got there. Oh, no. That was a harrowing it... journey. Oh, which uh, followers are you guys taking, by the way, if any? Uh, who did we have last time? Uh, Mabel. Mabel. And... Question mark? The, yes. uh... Nert. Oh, um, yeah, Nert. And where even is. It? Okay, there's Absinthe and Tamak. Tamak is just chilling out. Being a cool, rad dude. No, I'm pretty sure Tamak and Absinthe were banging last time. Yeah, so Tamak is being a cool, rad dude, as oh, is his way. Providing right. team building exercises for him and the uh, Boblings we have. Yeah. So, oh, there's where Nert went. Just grab him. Because I'm assuming he's coming again. <coughs> Bless you again. Oh my god. Sorry for your, to your ears, people. Jesus. Don't die. <sighs> Alright. Un copy. Un pasta. Un mm, pasta. Hopefully, this works out. Cha -cha. Cha -cha. Cha -cha. Chicago. Chicago. You guys should be in the upper upper left region of the cave. I see us. Good, good. Good, good. Oh, Tamak's coming along? I assumed he was. Cool. I mean, I can send him back nah, if, cool. uh, if you didn't mean to bring him. No, Tamak's cool. He's a cool dude. Yeah, I, I figured you guys would want some, some followers. You know, not, not uh, a nurse bot controlled by an inactive player. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I might I go for a nurse bot, but third's not here, so... Max here. This is what it is. Yeah. Plus, I reappropriated all of those potions from the goblins down beneath the stadium there, so we've got lots and lots of healing. Just, um, you know, ideally between battles, because chugging a lot of potions can be hazardous to your health in the middle of combat. <laughs> this is true. Especially if you happen to accidentally misread a label in the middle of combat and drink a not potion of healing. That does Tamox. happen sometimes. Tamak's like, ooh, another damp, musty cave. You bring me to the best places. But I thought you liked damp, musty caves. Yeah, I do. But that's why I said you bring me to the best places. Oh, I'm sorry. That sounded a little bit disingenuous. Uh, this, uh, yeah, whatever. That's fine. You just, uh, you just keep bouncing there, sweet tits. She'll just bounce. As is her way. So, uh, what are we doing here? We're looking for a mushroom. Well, there's not one in this hallway. Nope, so we gotta get on getting on. Somebody so, should do that. Yep. Hi-ho, everyone. Uh, before we push too far in, we should probably talk about what we want to do to the cultists. I mean, I have some suggestions, but uh, we had an issue with the goblins because I don't think we were of one mind in terms of how to handle them. Well, we have I think cultists to... tend to be pretty bad, so... That's I mean, true. Goblins were, goblins were just mind their own business, but cultists usually want to, like, I don't know, summon some sort of horrible god or sacrifice a bunch of people etc I don't know regardless I think if any of them asks us to lay down on the floor and put a sword at an X I vote we don't do it that's fair enough uh, agreed okay so we'll just assume that the cultists are big baddies and act appropriately 
Here, here. Indubitably. Oh, keep dokey. Do, do, do. Oh, holy cow. There's some writing on the ground. That's weird. What's it say? Writing or writing? Explosive rune. What's that mean? Uh, it is certainly a rune. Oh. Uh, let me uh, hold on a tick. Uh, there is a crude altar there that appears to recently have been used for some form of ritualistic sacrifice. All kinds of bones are piled together in a bowl-shaped indentation in the center, coated with dried blood. Uh, the stone in front of it is carved into a strange rune and filled with some kind of black glass that leaves your hairs standing on end. Ooh. The rune or the black glass? The rune, it, like, the rune is inscribed into the floor and then that, like... Uh, that then, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Inlaid with black glass. So the rune is made of the black glass. Gotcha. <laughs> Words, how does they work? I doesn't knows. See, now this doesn't look like the kind of cult that's going to be trying to sell you lemonade. Mm, lemonade. This is true. In fact, this doesn't look like very friendly people group people at all. Hmm. Um, Can I figure out what the rune means? Sure. I can help. If need be. Linguistics check. That's a skill I haven't put points in, but sure, I'll give it a try. I have one point in it. I have Do one I? point yes. in it. Oop. Okay. Uh, Thursati, it appears to be uh, a combination of two different runes, and you're not really sure which two have been combined here. Hmm. That's puzzling. I will uh, tell that to uh, Absinthe, since she's trying to figure that out. Hmm. It appears to be two Combining? different rooms put together, but I'm not quite sure what. You know, it's probably A and E. You know how sometimes they're put together, like that. Uh, the one side of the A is the other side of the E, for like Aether and stuff? Oh, probably that. yeah. I wonder if that could be it. Hmm. Well, it seems to be some kind of sacrifice thing, but our intel said that they worship the uh, mushroom, which I don't know why they would sacrifice stuff in places other than the mushroom. Well, I mean, maybe they start uh, here maybe... and then they carry else somewhere else. Maybe mushroom told maybe. them to sacrifice things over here so it doesn't get its <sighs> area nice and uh, bad and dirty. They said okay. the mushroom was pretty big. We don't know what its range is for growing from dead things. Uh, I guess that's true. I I don't know how spiritual roots work. Do mushrooms have roots? I don't know. Tomato they have says. tubes. tubes. Uh, I got a tube. It's true. Tamak, with your expertise in tubes, where do you think the mushroom would be? To the right or to the left? Can I roll a knowledge of nature hmm. to he, um, sort of figure it out? He scratches his chin and sniffs to the left and sniffs to the right. And he's like, uh, hmm, I'm going to go with left. Left seems, left seems great. Actually, Ooh. wait, no, let me, let me, let me, yeah, left. I'm going to go left. That's definitely it. Can you smell fungi? Sounds right. Are you or or, 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 uh, well, I mean, I, I haven't showered today, so I can kind of smell a fun guy, but... Uh, is it our left or camera left? Now, now, now that, uh, you know, Nurt got turned into a hot lady, uh, I'm kind of the only fun guy left around here. This is true. Oh, stop. Nurt does make a pretty lady. Uh, See a body. Okay. Absinthe. Uh... Suddenly, a uh, rune appears underfoot God. and saps you for 25 hit points. Ow. Jeez. Ow. 
Runes. How do they work? They're like mirrors and magnets. Yes. Well, uh, back up a little bit here. Watch out, everyone. Make, the writing is attacking we... us. Is the rune uh, still visible? It, it was not visible. It was only visible oh. and when it briefly flashed and absinthe took damage. In that case, oh. uh, if we're looking out for horrible, mean runes that hurt everyone, and I take a front to literature harming people, Ow. Um, can I cast... Do I even have that spell? I don't think I even have Regardless, it. Regardless, magic. Oh can, can I see this rune with my magic oh, I do scarab that allows me to see trip. magic? Oh, you can. There's uh, the one that flared is gone now, but there's three more in that same area. Um, so, Amy, any money is going to do that. I'm also going to cast a tech magic. So, all right, you can also now see the runes for yep. however long that lasts. Uh. Eight minutes. All right. There's three more of those things right there. Like, literally on the same space, or, same, like, spread space, about? Yeah. That same right. choke point. Yep, so I'm going to just hop over them. Okay. Sure, you're fine. Oh, there's a rat down here. If you can see the magic ruins, do you know what they say? Do I know what they say? Uh, they are rune, some kind of uh, runes of inflict wounds. They don't have a uh, like, like specific a, verbal right. meaning. Uh, it's an encoded spell. I gotcha. Well, come along, everyone. Uh, Nert will hop on over. Bye, rat. Come right here. Oh, oh, you weren't being racist. No, there's ah, a rat right it. here. Oh, wait, I'm floating. I didn't even oh, have... Oh, isn't he no. a cute little feller? Squid. Almost as cute as Artemok. Aren't you just the cutest little thing? All right. It's safe to assume everyone's hopping that jump, uh, that gap now. Yeah. Now, there is a skeleton back there. There is a skeleton back there. Uh, the skeleton look like he has anything. Do I see Let's anything see. magic on the, the skeleton? Hold on a sec. The skeleton lies curled halfway into a ball, clutching at its knee. Most of the finger bones and a good portion of the kneecap appear to have been melted away by something, though you have no idea what. Ew. Bits of rotted leather indicated he once wore armor of some kind, and a sword rusted into uselessness lies next to him. One ancient glass bottle rests on the ground behind him. Its contents spilled out of an open top decades ago. So he has nothing of use. So he was an adventurer until he took an arrow to his knee and then he died. He took an acid arrow to the knee. You are correct. Yeah. Melf's acid arrow to the <laughs> knee. Oof. What a way to go. Ouch. <laughs> um, the... Yeah, so let's, uh, I guess, continue on down this way here. Keep my eye out for traps. Oh, I see mushrooms. There are, in fact, mushrooms down there. Probably not the ones we're looking for. You can identify them with a knowledge nature check. I'm not that good at nature, but I'll try anyway. Uh, or I can just take my 10. 19. All right. Doop, 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 doop. Uh, they're called snap caps. Uh, so named because if you break one off, it makes a noise like a gunshot. Uh, they are useful as, uh, food for foraging in that they typically don't go bad. Uh, and they're also uh, pretty nice in that if you eat one, uh, it, raise, it tends to raise your dexterity uh, slightly for about an hour. Hmm. Uh, however, again, it's incredibly loud and like everything in a mile is going to know that somebody's eating a snap cap. Probably okay. need to not touch these things. You should probably save those for on the way out. Maybe we can harvest some. Sounds like a plan to me. 
Delicious, delicious mushrooms. Mushrooms! Oh, hello, another rat. Rats! Rats, it's another rat! Oh, hey, that looks uh, like a thing. Uh, big fat Minotaur said, is he coming? Oh, uh, yeah. Jiggle on over here. Uh, where are they? I can't see them. Uh, there. Control your titties. Well, I mean, I can't see with them, so... Titties don't have eyes. Maybe if her titties were bigger, then they would be able to see. Indubitably. Alright, there's a thing down here. There are many things. In that thing up there. Yeah, there, there, there is, is a fact. corpse of uh, a scuttling shield, one of those big bugs that uh, ah. gave you guys a lot of trouble on the road back in the day. Oh, God. I believe there's also a bone pile there and a pretty sweet looking door. Um, I'm going to take a look at the bone pile. Bone storm. Bone pile is ready. And actually, at the moment you get that close, uh, well, oh boy, no, itself into a big ass bone golem, and oh the rotting corpse of a scuttling shield lumbers up onto its feet. Damn Christ. it! I should have known it had to do with undead. I should have known. Well, I mean, if souls are being sucked out, you're gonna have all these bodies left over, right? Right? Sure enough. Roll initiative. Initiative. Hey. Oh. Oh, my roll for third was not very good. Oh no. Yeah, know, right? roll for me. Hey, it's third. She's alive. She lives. She's alive. Uh, yeah. Can it's you roll for Nurt, please? Just have Nurt go on your turn. It's fine. Okie dokie. We'll do the same with Tamak. Keep things for absinthe. Keep things relatively quick. Ooh, that's not nice that Bone Golem goes first here. Hmm. Yeah, having to go to the vet uh, so very late has screwed up my sleep schedule. Well, hopefully this is a step towards writing it. Hmm? Is it? I said hopefully this is a step towards writing it. Your sleep schedule, that is. Oh, hell no. Right, what what even attacks does this thing have? Okay. Uh, you know what? It's it's just gonna bite their Saudi. And twenty one hit. Yeah, I was about to say it's probably gonna hit. I have a whole fourteen nice. AC. Seven damage. Ow. And then it also slams its fists into you for eleven and for six. Uh. So that's a total of twenty four damage. The other ones hit? Yes. Alright, so 11 and 6. That hurt. All of its attack rolls were over 20. Abby! Ow! That What's going very... on there? Oh, these bones seem to be pretty angry. Angry bones. Ah. Uh -huh. Sometimes you just have to look the giant sentient pile of bones directly in what's left of its face, and you say, no, do not try to make me like you. You need to respect our differences. <laughs> well, I'll give that a try, I suppose. Um, also, shattering the bones works, too, sometimes. Oh, yeah. Let's see if this is one of those kind of guys that can get shattered really easily. So, I'm a chuck a bomb, Adam. Alright. As is Schwa. Absinthe's way. Right up there. Alright. So, that's definitely going to hit. And 21 damage. Bam! Bone shards go flying. 
Bone shards go flying. Uh, Tamak is uh, not very confident about his ability to hurt either of these monsters. So I think he is going to just scamper up behind Nert and then go for a rapid shot on the Scuttler there. Oh boy. Uh, miss, but also a crit for 15. But because its shell is intact, it takes much less. Dun dun dun. Amy. Hi. The worst part about fighting undead is that you don't get sneak attacks. This is true. Damnable undead. I'm gonna do my channel attack. Oh, wait. These things probably don't have. I'm going to cast a heal on Dersadi. I like being healed. I like big butts and I cannot lie. I gotta fix the diagonals on this. Uh, yeah. Mend the body. Roll three d eight. Heal at fifteen damage. Alright, King Scuttlebutt is going to lumber off of his perch and uh, vomit some corrosive bile across Amy and Absinthe. Oh, oh. god. Uh, so that'll be 17 acid damage. You may take a reflex save for half. That will succeed. But, uh, Amy, uh, yeah. A couple acid-soaked organs smack off your face, and you still take full damage. Ow. Ew, gross. Don't you think he needs those organs? Well, I probably need them at one time. Thursati, there's a big skeleton man in front of you. And there a is bug a... vomiting on your friends. There is a big skeleton man. Um, skeleton man. How about uh, grease? You could slick back your hair. I'm gonna slick stuff under bone men. Oh, okay. If you must. Uh, reflex save. What is the DC? 14. He passes. Pathfinder's really terrible about that. Well, it's more like, like, these are higher level enemies and you're using a level 1 spell on them, trying to disable them with it. I mean, in, just in general, like, DCs are really low. Anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, five foot step this way. I can't go here, right? No, there's a wall there. All right, five foot step back. Very well. Red, it is your turn. I've right. oiled up that bone there. So uh, I'm it's not so sure what else happened while I was asleep. Uh, quick summary, you guys took a mission to find a super rare mushroom so that Venus can grow. It's a kind of mushroom that uh, is known to sort of eat the souls and life energy of 
anything that dies near it. Uh, and there's a crazy death cult that kind of sprung up here that worships a gigantic one of those. All right. Um, and you found a door, and there's two corpses that jump to life and are trying to kill you now. I will lightning uh, death ray them then. Okay. Shoes Nothing them. to catch in the middle, but I can at least, you know, get both of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You gotta really give it to them. Pow! Right in the kisser. To attack. Bang, zoom, straight to the moon. It's been a while. It's been a while. I'm on my, my dad needs to go outside. Uh, uh, they're large. Okay, that misses the shield. Skeleton man. It misses the skeleton man. Wow. They have dexterity. That's a shitty ripple. And see, that's lightning damage. Okay, I guess it missed both anyway. Yeah. All right. Missed both. That's it. Okay. Bone Golem's turn. Bone Golem is ready. Bone Storm. Uh, let's see. Those are all hits. 26 plus 8. 34 damage. On whom? Uh, the person in front of him. Oh boy. I'm almost dead. Uh, Thersati is just getting wailed on by this bone guy. Did he make his save? Oh. I guess he has to. Reflex? Ease. Yeah, he makes it. Damn it. Fucking grease. Alright, Absinthe. Hmm, you're uh you're not doing so hot there, they're sadi. I would I would not say that I am. <laughs> well, uh go ahead and jam this in your face hole. I will offer you a pill. Sure. Hmm. What does Damn. it do? Uh, it healed you for 25 dam uh, health. Well done, though. It did negative damage to you. Hooray! I like negative damage. Hooray, indeed. So, uh, tomorrow. Uh, that was my action. I'm going to use... Um, I guess that's it. Everything else, yeah. Okay. All right. Tamak is gonna back up a couple steps and uh, take like one shot aiming at the uh, scuttler there, there, and try to aim for a part of it that isn't covered by the plate, which I don't. Think I think that's going to be enough. Oh, right. I forgot to do Nerf. Yep. I will remember yep. that for next turn. Amy's money. Now. Do undead things have strength scores? Yeah. I I'm going to attempt to wither the Skelebro. Is it DC 19 or take? Hmm. Seven strength damage. One second. Uh, what are undead traits? 
Why are they immune to ability damage? This They're gonna be sad. To, checking to see. I'm kind of tempted to just have it be immune anyway, because it specifies muscles. Oh. Uh, does that require a fort save? Yes. They, they're immune to any effect that requires a fort save. Oh. Shit. Womp womp. Reading comprehension. Fan. Anything that requires... Should have drained it from the rotting. Unless it also affects objects. Yeah, okay. Or is harmless. Yeah, I don't know. But I doubt it. Alright, uh, the scuttler swings out with its left pincer slicing at you with it. Does it... What's your AC? Uh, Seventeen. Okay, sixteen damage. Sixteen damage. All of the characters with the least AC are in the front. It's the way to go. Yep. All right. Uh, my turn then. Uh, yep. Nerf's gonna swing at Bug Dude. All I right. mean, we don't have frontliners anymore, so. Uh, Nert will hit Bug Dude for a little bit of damage. It's a real little bit of damage. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's got this massive shell that's basically reducing all damage it takes by 75%. Mm. How about hasting the party? Get... Okay. That would have been useful a second ago. Well, too bad. Party's hasted now. Okay. And Nerd then... gets a huge clock. Goes right next to her huge cock. To ho ho ho. And five foot stepping back away from Bald Golem. Is everybody getting a huge clock? Yes, everyone. Okay. The whole party within 30 feet of me. Tick tock. Making me hand out the clocks. I see how it is. I have a sad oh, face. Does that mean anything? I, I literally, whatever, it's gone now. I think you were probably put to sleep at some point. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're up, by the way, Red. Um, I'll try it again. You can make two attacks with a manufactured weapon. You're shooting with a gun. That doesn't count. Um, uh, inventions. Or a standard action, they're not attacked. Uh, it was a balancing feature. Gotcha. So that no matter, like, you know, you couldn't cheese out shitloads of attacks. Uh, so I'll attack both of them with the, uh, the arcing thing. And slightly better roll? Not as good. Not still not good. Uh, that will hit though. All you, all it needs. So, uh, oh god, stop lagging. There we go. Here's that. Yay. And the Bone Golem can finally hit that meddling goblin! Acrobatics check. Acrobatics or a save? Acrobatics check. Uh, what's the, how, what, does it ha what does it need? Ten. It makes it. Oh boy. Skeleton Bro is on fucking fire. What's his However, his that? attempt to bite the goblin... Okay, it doesn't critically fail, it just misses. <laughs> uh, what's your AC right now, Abby? 23 with the haste. All right, you take 13 damage from one of its fists. Ow. It pops you right upside the nose and leaves you stumbling. Oh no, he's boning Ad Absian. And not in the good way. No. Okay, well, these guys are quite intent on this, so... I'm going to chug a bark skin pill 
as a movement action and drink a mutagen as a full action. I Arr. thought you said that was dangerous. It's extremely dangerous. Okay. <laughs> But it does take me up to 30 AC. That's a lot of AC. All right. Amy, you are surrounded by death. <laughs> Undeath. It, and it smells real bad. Stupid question. I can't five foot step in full attack, or can I? You can. Okay. I will do it on back and I'm gonna gonna double attack the scuttling shield. Is anyway. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty rough. Oof! Did the first one hit? Yeah. Okay. Did it do anything? Did, I I don't know if the pixels moved, but it did something. <laughs> oh. And Mr. Scuttlebutt here is gonna lay into Nert. No, not Nert. Who? Oh, well, yeah. That's 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 gonna leave a mark. <clears throat> Jesus Christ! As it just takes big, big <laughs> chunks of Minotaur booty out with its uh, with its claws. Maybe we should leave. And go back home and open a bakery. <laughs> <laughs> we got this. Do we? Because it looks like these things hurt like a fucking shit ton. Hey. Right, Absinthe has 30 AC now. Uh, five foot step back. Uh, fucking bard's not having useful spells. Uh, heroism? Oh, good hope. I'm going to cast good hope. Everyone gets plus two on everything. Yay. Yay. Oh, I should have Nert do a thing, I guess. Yep, Nert's gonna uh, attack twice. No, Nert's gonna five foot. Well, okay, Nert, Nert's gonna try and go and hit a spot that's not covered by the shield. Yep. Which is harder. And yeah, Nert will fail, but one haste swing, which also failed. Uh. But ding, ding, ding. It's like, we can't hit, but they can hit everything. Well, you guys can seem to hit the skeleton easy enough. Yeah, that's true. Speaking uh, of which... Yeah. It's, oh, wait, I skipped red. Yeah, you did, Spe motherfucker. Speaking of which, it's red's turn to hit the skeleton. I, mean, I yeah, hit the shield, ah. I just didn't do anything. Kill the skeleton. Those uh, shields are evil, I hate those things. I will attack... Um... Shitty tits. Uh, you guys are having trouble with that shield. We were, we're having, having trouble, trouble with the skeleton. Last time we found him. Huh? Except last time we had uh, Absinthe's magic mine. I used a really big bomb on it. <laughs> was this while I was out? Also, the last one was alive, so my magic worked on it. Yeah. I will attack the shield. I will just hit one critter. Fine. Okay. Because I've got limited charges, guys. <laughs> it's a decent attack. Shit. That'll hit. It's the same as when I got 
minimum. All right. Uh, bone golem. Hmm? What's wow. her AC, Abby? Okay. Oh, uh, it it tries to bite you, and tumbles over clumsily, going prone, and wow. missing out on its other swings for the turn. I bet. Hooray. Looks like once. some of those bones had some arthritis going on. Yeah. Osteoporosis. Osteoporosis. This is why you always drink milk. All right, Abby, it's time for the prone bone. Prone boning. Oh no, pro bono. Um, probe ono. Pro bono. Pro bono. Prone pro bono. Pretty much. Uh, I'm a. I'm a. Since it's prone, I'm gonna run up its uh, fallen leg, up, dance across its um, rip cage, and shove a bomb in its mouth. All right. Or its butt. It doesn't have a butt. There's no cheeks. It's just a um, pelvis. I'm going to assign uh, an extra d6 damage for rule of cool. Big bum. Okay, you got it. All right, so that is 23. Kerblammer right in the slammer. When I want a good boning, I'll talk to my buddy Tamak. Or which, Nert or the Boblings. No, you had it right the first time, boss. Or really anybody with a dick. I mean You had it right the first time. Even even the giant mushroom, I'd take that. Basically Right the first time. You just need squishy, fleshy bits. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna shoot it. Okay. Alright, Tamak missed with both shots. Way to go, little buddy. I thought you were he was like the guy that was rolling all twenties the other session, so I guess it's it's time for that. Uh, Amy. Yeah. Well, I mean after right. how last session ended. Yeah. <laughs> I am gonna do a Healy on me Thersadi and Nert. Yeah. Uh, how much damage? One moment. We're still waiting to find that out. It's a mystery. Where the fuck? What spells? Ooh, I hope the butler did it. It's always the butler. So I'm going to add on one more d8 and then expend my focus. So it's 8d6... That's a lot of heals. Alright. So... Uh, everybody heal 10. Alright. Oh, I must have made a terrible mistake. Okay. <laughs> Bless you. you. Oh, this time for some vomit. No. Alright, uh, Nerd, Amy, and Thersadi. Give me reflex saves. Nerd makes it. Uh. Thursadi, 18 damage. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Half of 18 damage, guard. Oh, plus 10 to that. It's like the only thing I'm oh good God. at. That's rough. Did you say Sometimes... 18? Yeah. Nine for Gerbil for uh, Sorry, what were you going to say? I don't know. Sometimes something. Uh, sometimes the dice, uh, they just fuck you. Yeah. Alright, there's Sadi. Uh, things are hurty. But I'm gonna yep. have Nert do Nert things. Look for weak spot in what's the shield butt. Oh, hold on a sec. 
You you have a plus two to that roll, don't you? Yes. Okay, so you, you did get half damage on that, so you only took nine. Oh, hooray! <laughs> Alright, you want Nurt to, to start hitting it? Yep, we allow him. Alright. Uh, well, fuck it up! Looking for weak spots. Nope. Oh, it's just infinite. Can he even... Nope, I mean, even can't. with the plus two from Good Hope? Uh, nope. Damn it! Yeah. Aiming for a weak spot takes a minus five penalty, and it does have a good AC. Or Gunert. All right. Well, Thursadi, on her on. turn, is going to move over to Nert and do a thing. Uh, do grope her boobs for cure moderate wounds. Yay, boob wounds. Wait, that didn't come out right. Yay, almost men. Wow. Dice, <laughs> why do you do this to us? Wow. Uh, that's it for me. Alright, Red. Be the hero of the day. I'm trying. I'll, I'll hit both of them again. Everybody's Probably good. Struggling. <laughs> ah. Man, what is with these rolls? At least you hit them. It, it, it's punishment for waking up late. Which I was catching up on much needed CP time. Yep. Boom, Golem. Yeah, I'll, I'll Golem that. is ready. Discount bonerisms. Alright, he is missing his teeth due to a mouth based bomb explosion. Uh, and both of his punches miss Absinthe. Okay. Absinthe! This guy is having a bad day. It's about to get worse because. More bombs? No. I have a flail. I'm a flail. Mm -hmm. Flail over space. I wouldn't want to bomb him. Why would I bomb him? That'd be really cruel. <laughs> flail in the face. Alright. Um, you flail around and miss the first one. Uh, but your flailing pays dividends and impacts with the second one. And hey, something actually did bludgeoning damage. He crumbles apart and into bits and dies. Yeah, that's what you get. You get a flailing. All right. It just falls apart into bones. 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 More bones. Bones. That's like bones. Want some bones. Anyway. Uh, Amy. All right. Whenever you would like I... to kill everything, be my guest. Put my magic to the Inch. test. These things are dead. I go with that. But... I can give me Nert and I think Red. I don't know, Red hasn't been targeted yet. I'll go with just me and Nert. Acid resistance twenty. Could be useful. Okay, okay. Green dots. What's their Saudi's green dot for? I just had me a nerd. Yeah, I know. That's why I was wondering why their Saudi has a green dot. I don't know. I don't know. I had it. Has she always had it? Because I think I gave it to her during the last fight that this happened. 
Oh, so my dad is blue. Well, Nerds is green. Dun, dun, dun. Skeller! It's claw time. Ooh, clawsome. It missed. Yay. Did not miss the second time. Which is my luck. just fucking doesn't have any organs. Her into Nerds' thigh. Thursati. Um, all right, Nert's going to try again. Precision Minotauring. Precision Minotauring. What? I don't think Nert has rolled over like a 10 or a 12 all game. Uh, all right. So what's up now, Third? Or Thursati? Uh... Another Third cure side. moderate wounds. Yeah, that won't be confusing at all. <laughs> no, no. Makes perfect sense. Speaking of which, third. Not Saudi. Yeah. At least now I don't have to spend two two thingies. Um Has this thing seemed resistant to electricity damage? Uh, the electricity seems to be being reduced the same as physical damage. Let's try... Has anybody used fire? You know what? Actually, no. Third, looking at this, I done fucked up. Yeah. So, uh... I'm not gonna get the exact numbers, but I'm sure this is probably good Yay! enough. Yay! <laughs> Lightning should have been bypassing it. Yay! Because because I just double checked the list of things that shell affected, and and my and electricity was not amongst it. Yeah. Uh, I I will. I was gonna try fire, Seth, uh, but now I will just hit it with another electricity. Uh, thing. That's probably a good plan. But you, now that your DM is done accidentally butt fucking you. But you motherfucker. Pachu indeed. It has been pachooed. Abby. Angry bug. Mm. Does it look like uh, it's shell is weak anywhere? Um, so you can like strike for joints or eyes or whatever, uh, but then you're at a minus five uh, to eight. hit. One for massive damage. Um, well, that's okay, because uh, I use touch AC, and I'm getting plus two from uh, Good Hope. That is correct. So it would only be at minus three. So I'm going to stay much easier AC. I'm a huck a bomb at one of the weak joint thingies, try and blow the shell off. All right. Yeah. That'll hit. Womp. Amy! I'm going to try and double shoot it in the face. Please do. Seventeen and uh, twenty-one. I'm assuming you were doing the whole aiming for like eyes and shit. So yeah, yeah. it uh, just drops and then falls apart into like a puddle of Igor. Ah, oh, gross. Congratulations, all the monsters are dead. You're out of combat. Are there yes. any funny-looking bones in the pile? Uh, mostly just human bones. Ah. That's sad. There's 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 some like small animal skeletons in there as well. Are there any skulls large enough to fit over my head? Uh, you're a goblin, so there are tons. Sweet. I'll grab one of the skulls, put it over my head like a helmet. All right. Er... Fortunately, it's uh you know old and yellowed and whatnot, so it's not uh, full of uh, gross shit. And you're wearing a skull. I'm a scary bone column. I'm gonna scare everybody. 
And I'm also going to chug more pills because sweet, sweet healing. That seems healthy. I can stop anytime I want. I see a box over here. Ooh. <laughs> and a rat. There's a lot of rats. Squeak. 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 <laughs> Squeak. Uh, well, Squeak. Absinthe is doing her thing. I'm going to investigate this thing for traits. That's what I was going to do. Well, someone investigate it for traps. I'm real good at that. First collection. All right. Uh, there's not even a lock on it at all. Uh, however, you can hear some scuttling sounds from inside uh, that sound like rats. I think it's full mm. of rats. I'm healing me a nerd. Uh, okay. You want to open Nine it Nine for nerd and eleven for me. I'll open it. I think it's... Yeah, I'm, I'm stepping back. All right, you open it up. And, uh, whoops, that's the wrong... There it is. Uh, you open it up, and ten live rats rush out of it, scrabbling over everything in their hurry to get away from you. Oh, they're so cute. Uh, a small pile of grain uh, can be seen in the bottom of the box, presumably what they were eating. And give me a perception check. Perception check, you'd say. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Uh, eh. Suck. You see something glinting in the bottom of the green. I'm going to grab it. All right. Uh, it is a... Let me... Where, where'd you go? Uh, it is a solid black ring with golden rat tails twirling r around it like the stripes of a barbershop pole. Ooh. Um, is my detect magic still going? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Uh, well, tech magic's cantrip, so I'm going to run that again. All right. Give me a. Uh, I think it's knowledge arcana to identify things. I could also cast identify if I wanted to, but I'll roll a. Yeah, but that's a level one, one spell. It is. So, Knowledge, Arcana... Jesus Christ! Uh, man, I really need to like look up the rules for uh, how Knowledge Arcana identification works. Fucking roll to three with a plus 15. Would you like me to find it right now? Yeah, that'd be, that would be useful. Uh, Identify auras while using detect magic is 15 plus a spell level. Oh, it's spellcraft. Give me a spellcraft check. My bad. Uh, eh, not nearly as good. Actually, I was looking up knowledge arcana. Really? Because I'm looking, I'm seeing it in spellcraft, and I was just in the knowledge article. Let me see it. Right there, too. Let me see what Identify says. Yeah, Identify specifically says it gives you a bonus on the Spellcraft checks. I'm going to Spellcraft. But that's uh, Detect Magic, not Identify. No, I was talking about Identify. Um, identify Auras, a spell effect, materials manufactured, a spell that just targeted you, spells cast. I don't see anything about magic items in here, third. A magic item. Yeah. Um. Still says auras. Yeah, that's uh, you know, like an aura. Yeah. Well, I can at least tell with a school of magic from that knowledge arcana with the DC fifteen plus the spell level. Yeah, spell level is third level or lower, then I beat it. You want me to run spellcraft? Yeah, if you want, because Thersadi's spellcraft was hot garbo. Yeah, it was super garbo. 
Okay. How um, can I third. identify everything about it? Let, let me just uh, <laughs> copy paste everything out of the GM notes and into the handout and then just like hand that off to you guys. <laughs> it's almost like I know magic items. <laughs> As a right. tinker type person, no way. Ring of rat control. Hey. May has a standard action control up to his or her level of non sapient rodent. After being worn for one day, the wearer grows a rat tail. Then after a year, they turn into a rat. You can give rat to you. After a year, maybe yeah, uh, absent. What up? <laughs> you want to control rats? Well, I don't think of it as control so much as like a partnership. Yeah. It also turns you into a rat. So oh, whoa, it might sick be right man. up your alley. Well, Tamak is already a rat. Tamak Maybe if he wears that, any... he'll become a double rat. Tamak, you'll be king of the rats! <laughs> Super rat. Super I rat. mean, the, the ring itself is transformative to whoever rat. Tamak strikes a pose and uh, <laughs> says, I'm already king of the rats, and tips back his mascot hat rakishly. <laughs> Speaking of, I, I'm going to just quickly roll for what my fiendish DF was today. Looted. I have ram horns today. Cool. Uh, so, who is taking that ring and do and or doing what with it? I will take I'd be it, okay with but I will not wear it. To my getting it. That's a bit cliche, isn't it? I don't know. Rat getting the rat ring. The ring of rat. Oh. Who better to have it? True, won't transform you. What if I wanted to be transformed? Uh, then you might want to pick something else. Or trans have... turn yourself away from being a rat so that you can become a rat again. Might that I seems so. One of my belts. Your belts seem boring. Are you taking down that fertility idol? No, I don't want to be a chick. Hey, there was a chance I could give you a dick. I already have a dick. You yeah, yeah, quite really? functional. But another one. You guys went crazy over that fertility idol. I know, and everything worked out. It did. It did. We have a hot chick minotaur girl. Or uh, nerd. Sadi is pregnant with a bigger ass. <laughs> so what's this door? Oh, it's a door. Are you going to look at it? I'm going to look at it. Your brain explodes now. Uh... Uh, this featureless metal obstruction bars a passage south. There is no knob or handle, and no hinge or seam to be seen. When you touch it, elaborate scripts appear in the air above. The ink-black text is written in an archaic form of common. Whatever magic sustains it seems to suck the very light from the surrounding chamber. Uh, if someone would like to give me a linguistics check, they could decipher it. Sure. Maybe we need to sacrifice a rat in that bowl up there. Uh, Thursadi, the only way forward is through sacrifice. The only truth through death. Hmm. That doesn't sound very fun. All right, Tamak, you're needed. <clears throat> uh, nope, I don't think so. And Tamak just climbs into the chest and shuts the lid. Ew, there's rat poop in there. Well, there's about to be if you try to kill me. 
Well, I mean, you could uh, use the rat control ring to sacrifice a rat. That's what I was getting at. What, you thought I was trying to kill you? Yep. You're our mascot. Damn right I am. Yeah. But I guess we're not doing that. Okay. So yeah, there's a door with no obvious way to open it. That seems to be uh, implying that something should die. Uh, there's a crazy altar and uh, yeah, some mushrooms and rats. Did they want us to sacrifice a rat? I see a rune. Yep. I see you an altar. Found that. That's the rune yep. we already saw. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna follow. How am I up here now? Oh, there's yeah, there's a chest up there. Another cartoonishly. I don't stop. trust it. It's, stop. It's three dimensional. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, the floor gives way. Absinthe, give me a reflex save. The floor, my one weakness. Reflex. Boop. Oh, you fall in the hole. Is uh, good hope still going? Because I think that gives plus two. It's still not enough. Nine damage. You're in the hole. Ow. There's a little bit of acid down there, too, so you probably want to get out soon. Ow, my butt. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm allergic to TPKs. Uh, I'll slip a rope down towards Absinthe so she can climb up. All right, grab onto the rope. All right, uh... Absinthe, give a climb check. Thursati, give a strength check. Uh, wherever Nert went, I'm going to hand the rope off to her. All right, you call for Nert. She shows up. All right, Absinthe, climb check. All right. Er. Absinthe gets pulled up easily enough uh, with multiple people on the rope. Wow. Who would yep. put a chest on one side of the room and a big old pit in the middle? How would you get to your chest? It would be very inconvenient. Indeed. I'm gonna shimmy over here. All right, you shimmy by. No one ever thinks yeah. to put two pits right next to each other. Ha ha! Defeated it a, forever. It is a, a very nice looking chest. Ah. Seems almost brand new. Amazing chest ahead. I'm gonna poke it. All right, you poke it. It's wood. I'm With a... some nice metally bits. Can I lift the lid or is it locked? It's not locked. I'll lift the lid. Uh -huh. It's empty! <gasps> I should have known. It's another pit trap, but a smaller one. Nah. It's just bait. Just bait. It's master bait. Well, I mean, I am a master baiter. You had to expect this from me. I'm going to take the chest, and I'm going to drop it into the hole. That way, neither of them will truly be empty. They'll have each other. All right. Well, the chest will still be empty. It's filled with appreciation for its pit buddy. <laughs> you say so. So, I, I think, definitely think we're supposed to get one of those rats, and that's why the rats are, like, actual token that is metagame. That is that is very metagame. But not like I've read the uh, adventure in the past before metagame. Well, that's yeah. cheating. Um, <laughs> mushrooms are living things, right? Why don't we sacrifice a mushroom? It's like those old Looney Tunes where, uh, like, if something was colored different from the rest of the background, you knew it was going to move. Exactly. Oh, but sometimes they subverted that by having everything but that like, yeah. special region fall away. Anywho, uh, have you said something about uh, sacrificing mushrooms? Mushrooms are living things. Oh, pick up a mushroom and toss it in there. How long does it take a mushroom to die once it's been picked? That's a good question. Oh no! In that case, what is death? Because I know plants are you can about be cell death like, or like 
losing its soul or something? Get out of here with your science. Oh. I don't know. Everything we've seen so far makes it seem like this is... Like, those are some... Those certainly aren't no mushroom bones in that basin. How do you know? Many you of the bones do seem bone? to be... Many of the bones do seem to be rat size. There you go. Is there a knife uh, up on the altar? Sure, yeah. I will stab really the mushroom. What mushroom? Absinthe plucked a mushroom and tossed it in the, on the altar. Did she? Yes. When did you run down to the mushrooms? Like, are, just are we on a time base? A minute ago? I just, I just didn't notice. Okay, uh, when Absinthe did that, there was like a cacophonous boom that rattled oh. through the entire uh, cave. Uh, from breaking it off. That's why we weren't doing that. It's All fine. Right. We already took care so, of that big skeleton guy and the bug. You toss a mushroom in there. Boop. Wait, weren't, looks... weren't you the one who just at the beginning, when we walked in here, decided, hey, make sure everybody's on the same page? Yeah, about what to, what to do with the cultists. We agreed they're bad guys. I mean, I okay. guess... Oh yeah, there, there's a cult. Okay. They worship the giant mushroom. Okay. I stab the mushroom. Okay. Uh, again, it, it splits in half with a, a, like a, a rumbly boom. I check the door. It sure is a door. Probably need to kill a rat. Mock, you have the ring. You want to bring a rat over here? Oh, do I? I have the ring? This, that's the mock. Who has the ring? Who was Not given me. the ring? But Mock's king of the uh, rats, so it makes sense that he should command them. Alright, I'll write it down on a sheet. Uh... And soon, slowly, day by day, he will become more and more what he is deep down inside his heart. A rat I wonder if it would just turn him into like an animal rat. Why is that? Uh, or would it negate sure? out the ratness and turn him into a human? Eh? Eh? I don't know. Can't get All right. that sugar free. Sugar free. Mock has the ring of rat control. Cool. Okie doke. Uh, so what, you guys want me to, like, command a rat to come over here and die for us? Unless we have a key somewhere. That's not very sporting. Well, if there were cultists around, we could use them, but they, they're all hiding behind the door, I guess. Uh, someone else do this. Hoodloo? Feels right. a little low for me. Give me the ring. Kind of related. All right, he gives you the ring. I put on the ring. Whoa, did you just get hotter or something? Hopefully not. Uh, I can't quite put my finger on it. I will attempt to use the ring to control a rat. Which rat? Uh, this rat. Down. Alright. It scampers up. Alright. Sorry, little buddy. You're gonna have to come with me. Okie dokie. I'll direct him to go on the altar. Alright, he will climb onto the altar. Uh, who wants to do the honors, or should I? I'm going to go watch the door. All right. I will stab the rat. It's a dead rat. Oh, shit. Something happened. Something happened. What happened? Something. Uh, a, a pair of exotic-looking gears have sprouted from the door's face. One is oriented vertically, the other horizontally. Uh, beyond them is a uh, space... Uh, where two slides of intersecting runes come together. 
So who would like to operate uh, the gears? I assume we have to intersect the runes like the thing on the um Thingy. below the altar. Sounds reasonable to me. I'll get on one of the wheels if someone wants to get on the other. Sure. One second. Let me uh, do something here. All right. So who's getting on the one? Only one person can work the wheels. Oh, well then I'll do it. Thersadi okay. will do it. Alright, Thersadi. You can't see outside of that little box, right? Uh, what little box? I just moved you into a little box. Mm, I can see, like, the grayness outside, but otherwise, no. Okay. And you can see some runes there? Yep. Okay. So, yeah. The, the one is all the way to the right, the other is all the way down. Mini games. So uh, it's up to you to tell me how you're moving them, and I will, I will move the runes around, and your party can uh, describe to you what you're trying to make, maybe. Uh, okay. Or you can just spin them at random, I don't fucking care. Uh, yeah, if the party wants to describe what I'm doing here, I'll do a thing. Bueller. Good party. Good party. Are we supposed Wait, to be seeing something? Yeah, are we anything? supposed to be seeing runes? No, they're only Thersadi's seeing them right now, because like, putting it onto the map would have been confusing. Okay. Um, uh, so, oh. part of the Thersadi's thing... Thersadi's the only one seeing them. Yeah. So, part of the thing is like a uh, an inn without the far right um, dingle bob and then oh, the other we're one is to make this like doodle. an E without the middle dingle bob gotcha alright I'll try spinning the bottom one alright boop nope boop nope boop uh uh boop nope boop no boop uh uh boop no. Boop. That one looks like it might be right E without the middle thingy thingy thing. Alright, and then spin the other one. Alright. Boop. No. One. Yeah, that one looks right. Boop. Alright. You got it. I did. I, 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 I did it. Yeah. Uh, well, well done description there, Agatha. <laughs> correctly Ray. identifying uh, where each of those symbols began and ended at. <laughs> uh, the gears guess. and and runes fade away with a deathly scream. As that anguished God. cry fades, the metal rumbles and shifts, revealing a slight gap in the center of the door. Well, All guess... you have to do is push it open. Well, I guess we didn't have to worry about those stupid mushrooms being loud. True. All right, uh, if somebody wants to push the door open. Come on, I mean. push the door open. All right. It's Cultus. Oh, no. Watch out, nerds. We're here it's to take your mushroom. Ah, interlopers. They've reached the sanctum. <laughs> Fucking little corky dude. <laughs> I love it. Uh, but I tell you what, I'm going to go get a drink real quick. I'll be right back after I roll my initiative. After these quick messages, I'll be right back. The uh, glowy dealy on the Corgon fighter reminds me of... Um... The evil rats from 
Secret of Nim. Mm. I never watched that. Oh, oh, wait, maybe I no, I I think I did. It's a long, good. long time ago. It's good. Or maybe I saw it on one of your streams. Possibly. I wasn't paying close I attention to it. Definitely put it on before. This well, frisbee no, it, and the owl and Nim. All mm. kinds of good stuff. Yeah, that sounds that sounds familiar. Jacques did a pic uh no, Alder did a picture of her. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, I remember really liking that picture. I I'm a sucker for rodent furries. Yes. Poor poor sacrificial rats. Never stood a chance. Sorry, rat. <laughs> I was worried that a, that would cause a moral conundrum for you guys. I'm glad it didn't. I should have drank a healing potion before we opened the door. Whoops. Yeah, probably. Uh, if you had uh, been like uh, the rat, you know, is so cute and like looks up at you with adoring eyes, uh, it might have. I briefly considered it. Thankfully, you did not. Did everyone get a roll in? Oh, Is red on the board? Uh, I don't see red on the board. Wow, the Corgo fighters did not roll. I suck at rolling. A few oh, beat sure. some of the good enemies. What did I miss? N nothing. We were just sitting around shooting the shit, talking about rat killing rats. Hooray! How long does haste last? Few minutes. Hey, that's, one round per level. Uh, yeah, that, that's haste? gone then. Last. Wait. Oh, that's right. There's one round fucking... per level, so yeah, it's gone. Yeah, it's it's gone. It's toast. It's Dead. gone. I uh, think me and Nerds. Uh, eight minutes total, so if we only took eight minutes to look around, that's still around. Yeah, I still have good hope for this fight. Woo! Okay, then. After. Me and Nerd still have our uh, energy resistance in that case. Yep. It lasts for an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, yay. Boy, that Korgon fighter got a great initiative roll. Oh, yeah. He's, uh, <laughs> he's a champ. <laughs> but they both are. I guess the, the guy and the girl. not doing so hot anyway it's amy's turn uh go ahead and start us off now that we are in life or death combat once more you and your combat i love me some combat oh man i have a, a monday night D, &D game where that's just like <laughs> the the dm doesn't prepare maps or puzzles it's just monster gauntlets every fucking week it's the laziest dming mm. <laughs> That's the way my old D and D games used to play, just because like overall, well, usually busy and not good at RPing. Well, since mm -hmm. I made, I always run pre-made modules. I don't have to run into that problem. I like at least trying to make spaces to explore and the occasional puzzle. The yeah. space. Yeah. I mean, if anyway. you, if all you want to do is combat, then you wouldn't even need a, like a dungeon. It would just be like, here's a room. Inside room is enemy. Kill enemy. Pretty much how it yeah. went. I like Amy, puzzles. You're up. Uh, I, does this cultist have uh, concealment from me? Do you think? Uh, I'd say he has like a plus two AC bonus for cover. All right. That sounds like a 5th edition rule right there. <laughs> I think I'll take that risk. <laughs> I mean, that just cancels out the plus 2 you get from Good Hope, so... I'm going to use my magic conducto thing. The first time I've used it since it got a cost. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. Oh man, it would have been so useful in that last fight. <laughs> is that, does oh that? Oh my god! Does a seventeen confirm? <laughs> oh, okay. 
<laughs> guys, guys. Is he like so, blowing this dude up? So Amy Money just like channels psychic power into her pistol and just like fucking explodes his head with the bullet as like brains and psychoactive goop just like splatter the walls in, in like a 15 foot radius it reminds me of uh that scene in men in black where k blows that shopkeeper's head off and <laughs> don't you know how that stings there we go there there it is i'm not sure if you guys can see i can't how far even see where it ends uh, it, it ends over here <laughs> Jeez, that's Christ. how dead that guy is. <laughs> oh, he, poor fellow. He did not have a good day. Uh, well, that just means he's going so, to go meet whatever goddess or god he's praying to, or whatever. I don't know how much health he had, but me and Nerd can, or me and Nerd can probably fully heal. I know we. Yeah. Uh, Agreed to treat these cultists like bad guys, but man, that seems a little excessive. <laughs> you uh, you got some issues to work out. Cultist killed my parent. <laughs> yeah, nerd only needed like seven hit points. So. Okay, so they're uh, sad however, to prep actually, some. No, he he only had eight to begin with, so I think I'm gonna have to limit you to. Oh, eight. Okay, I'm gonna have to remove some. Yeah, I can take some away from Nerd if you want more. I... Here, let me just remove a bunch. Nerd can have it. He's okay. probably going to be getting hit more. All right, Abby. Um, well, there's a cultist guy up there. Hey, cultist man. Yeah. Yeah, we're taking is... your, your we're taking your mushroom. Sorry about turning oh. your other guy into a a stain on the wall. You're gonna feed our mushroom. No, we're going to take it. Buddy, there's already feed near my shrimp. On the plus side, uh, I am willing to exchange goods for your mushroom. So, even trade. Here you go. Have I mean, we a... don't even need the mushroom. We just need spores of the mushroom. No, we want the whole thing. I mean, it's a lot to carry back. Yeah, but there's a lot of us. We got a lot of space in our stomachs. If you flee, perhaps you may yet live. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. Uh, here, here's a trade. You can have this, and we'll take the mushroom. And I'm going to puck a um, bottle of uh, acid at his face. Yeah. Mm. Oh, no, my meal ticket. All the lady cultists love my beautiful face. <laughs> See, just... Does his best impression of the witch from The Wizard of Oz. Or that dude from Robocop. I like how the name of the attack is Alchemical Dealies. <laughs> if your face melts, that means that you agree to accept our trade. That's legally binding contract. Any lawyer will back Abby up. It's true. All right. Tamak will scoot in. Say, ah, motherfucking dog guy. Shoot him. And hit. And successfully sneak attack. That crazy Tamak. He actually did something, you guys. Hey. He's like the best m member of our party. And a, uh, a cultist comes out of one of the tents. And he's like mm -hmm. our mascot, too. Actually, I think he can move the whole way up to Abby and stab her. So I'm going to do that. Okay. No, don't stab her. Dagger miss. Ah, come on. Uh, you're, you're dead, so I can delete you. I can delete you. You are very no, dead. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and take put all the tent guys on the token layer. Save me the trouble. <laughs> this guy Spice. will rush up here. Um, when I he passes through a square that I. Yep. Do I get an attack on him? Yep. Okay, he gets a deflail. A deflail? A deflail. 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 Oh, da one. Oh. It doesn't. Oh. Da bears. 
He went right past the flail. It's almost like he saw that flail coming. He did. He was probably watching when we were fighting the big old bone golem guy. Dude, that's not cool. What the? There's one of the cultists I didn't put on the board. Ben. Yeah, I'm just gonna. How very dare you? Uh, How dare uh, dare you? How very dare you? And a old ass priest with some tattered robes rounds the corner. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no, dude. And he casts a spell on Abby. Will save, please. DC 17. Hooray, Will saves. Will saves indeed. Uh, plus two from Good Hope, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Do you succeed? You briefly have the impulse to just stab the shit out of yourself, but it passes. Ooh. How would I even stab myself? I got a flail and a mace. I'd be struggling for days trying to get that thing through. <laughs> Come up for a Alright, they're sorry. Oh. Oh, what fun. Um, I am going to... Uh, I still need to buy that gun next time we're in town, but for now I'm going to shoot the old dude. Not the shoe sting. Does that hit for that whole amount of damage? Uh, let's see. That'll hit for that incredibly high damage. Mm-hmm. And then Nurt is going to run in and smack up one of these cultists. Yeah, he'll smack a bitch up. Yep, yeah, that, that's a dead cultist, all right. Smack. Just like, just bull dude lady just barrels around the corner and just like smashes him into the ground. Uh, Red, there's a small army of cultists obstructing your path. Yes. An angry looking old man. Oh. Some angry doggos. He has a crossbow bolt sticking out of him. Someone killed uh. this guy. <laughs> um, now I can only hit like three of them. <laughs> I'm hit the priest or the fighter. I think the priest is a good idea. Or, uh, mm, I don't know. We don't know what else the priest can do. Fighters are scary. I'll hit the fighter. So I'm gonna yeah. hit an arcing thing between those two. Do I get a? Okay. Do I get like a dex mod on my crossbow? You, to hit? Yeah. No, to damage. Nope. Mm. Uh, uh, that actually hits them both. Okay. And the all guy, right, I guess all three. It, the guy in the middle doesn't take as much. He takes eight. Okay. Yeah. The guy in the middle still dies because he's a shitty mooks. level one cultist. Yay. Uh, Doggo man, Saul Doggoman. Saul Doggoman. <laughs> <laughs> he, he takes a good bit and snarls. You'll be food for the fungus. Speaking of which, I would, I would rather not. Oh God! Oh heavens, the Megatroid! He killed my friends. He charges. I'm gonna get you for that. I'm gonna move this cultist. First, you gotta wash my hands. <laughs> Put him over here. Kill a move, gonna cl- wash my hands. <laughs> Cle- Kill clearing the bodies. Wash my hands. <laughs> clearing the bodies, okay. Clearing the go. bodies, wash my hands. <laughs> wash my hands. Clear the bodies, wash my hands. All right. Mm. Absinthe, 20 doesn't hit you, does it? Nope. All right. The other Corgo fighter... There's another one? Oh no, it's a pip. Oh no. We're dead now. Is she made of a lava? A double move. Uh, she does seem to have, like, the ends of her fur sort of transform into licking flames. Ooh. Uh, she's, she's hot. Uh, she's a uh, dark iron dwarf. A, a dark iron cork? 
Uh, aim your money. You're up. Of course. Why are they the sharing fire in space? Korg? Do they have Wait, that oh. squeeze together thing? Huh? They're, They're not in the same space. They're... There's a cultist right there. Hmm? No, there's not. The cultist is... Oh. There's a cultist there's here, bodies. and there's a was cultist... was a dead there. body there, but yeah. Yeah. Maybe I, need I moved to... all the dead bodies off the field. Weird. They reload. Yeah, probably a good idea. I, I like how those <laughs> names blend together and just cultist or gone fight cultist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Cultist or gone fight cultist. That is the greatest class to fight cultist. Oregon <laughs> Trail. Oregon <laughs> Trail. I would play that game. Oh god, that needs to be a game now. Oh, you can, can I'm pretty sure it is, shit? but just oh, like god. a little side game that the Corgon made, and that's their favorite game, the Corgon <laughs> oh, only Trail. If I, only <laughs> if I spend like an entire week replicating all of the mechanics for a yes. full playthrough of the Oregon. Giant Trail. dysentery. Write My. that down for next uh April Fool's Day. Oh, God. It started the Corgon Trail. I would, I would play the shit out of that. Oh, you know, <laughs> I'm not even lying. Spend days on that. Okay, but... <laughs> that that would be content well created. Anyway, I'm gonna shoot the the frontmost cargo fighter right. with a normal bullet. He doesn't appear to be be a very good boy. He appears to be a bad boy. All Corgon are good boys. Even when they're bad boys. <laughs> Alright, seven damage. He snarls and bleeds a little bit. Do I take that off of him? I hit the... I guess not. There we go. Yay! <laughs> Alright, uh, Absinthe. Angry puppers. Many, many puppers. The pooperest of poopers. Many pups handle it. Uh, well, my, he take a five foot step back and squeeze under near, um, all the genitalia involved, and I'm uh, I'm gonna roll a bomb down where a uh, fire pupper is. And see oh, it's just drag on your head. Immune to all that. These aren't my glasses. Bowling for puppers. Pepperoni. Roll that bomb. Bomb bowling. We'll hit. Bomb 16 bowling. damage. It does significantly less to her than you would think. Uh, Jason targets must make reflex saves. Oh boy, I get to make a lot of reflex saves now. <laughs> why is why is Sugar Crisp suddenly a thing? Uh, uh, game yesterday, drops. Game Game Grumps did um, a whole thing about it. Oh, God, oh. Game Grumps I'm getting up that Sugar Crisps. <laughs> damn it! <laughs> um. So okay, so if they pass, they take half of sixteen. Am I reading that right? Uh. Or if they, half of eight. If they fail, they take eight damage. If they pass, they take f uh, four damage. Holy shit, guys. A cultist survived an attack. <gasps> no way. He could survive an attack from Thursadi. It's fucking incredible. Thursadi <gasps> is terrible at combat. Another one. The other Corgo made a save. Yes. Boo, 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 boo. Alright. Uh, oh, um, Tamak. Yeah, Tamak's just gonna shoot a bitch, I think. Rapid shot. Pew, pew. Miss and hit for nine. Maybe we should focus on the dude called Death Priest. And he, Tamak's gonna scamp around the corner. I wonder if and that would be, uh. Dead useful. cultist, dead cultist, dead cultist, dead cultist. Living cultist. Get him, cultist. I believe. I it hits. <laughs> the cultist did damage. Ooh. He is the best of his fellows. They can only aspire to be as wonderful as him. And it's Death Priest's turn. Hi, Death Priest. Yep. They, him being the only one left. 
The last of his kind. None of his friends were alive to witness his... his endeavors. No one will believe him. Witness me! So... No one would believe him. Let's see. Ten foot radius. Jeez. Oh no. Uh, this, this seems like a good radius. When you start right, talking radius. about radii, it's not very fun. Right on the entire party. Oh, oh don't do it. Don't do it, man! Don't do it, dude! column of unholy fire. Fuck. Uh, it just explodes oh, on the party. Oh, shit, dude! So, oh, um... Give, give reflex saves for halvesies. Oh, no, man. All right, Nert takes the full brunt. I think he takes as long as it's fire damage. He takes twenty less. What? Uh, why? Uh, energy absorption. I thought that I was thought acid. You did acid absorption. I said acid, but it's the one. It's the same thing last time. It affects all of them. Oh, okay. Is, it's that yeah. fucking cheatsy doodle spell that I got mad at last time. <laughs> got you. What takes fifteen. Thursadi and Absinthe both pass. Um, Red, I'm going to need to save from you as well. Okay, so let's go back that far. Yeah. Actually, no, yeah, it was centered on Amy. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so you also take half. So 17 if you pass. 35 if you fail. Take your damages, people. I'm not adjusting your health bars for you. Uh, do I have evasion? Is that something? Mm. I hope not. I do have evasion. Uh -huh. I'm gonna kill y'all. Evasion oh, is a fuck. thing I have. Let's find out. I have evasion. Uh, -huh. uh so that means what? I don't take damage. Seventeen back. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> oh man, I wish I could share. Okay, I can share this on, on screen. Okay. <laughs> this fucking thing Getty posted in work chat. Oh. oh. <laughs> Where are you posting this? I'll link it in here. Oh, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking googly eyes, man. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, if everyone's taking their damage, it looks like Red, oh, Red has, has evasion, I guess. I have uh, Yep, Thersadi and Nert, you guys are up. Uh, Thersadi is going, well, Nert is going to try and smash the cultist. Alright. Uh, Nert will just utterly paste the cultist with his first swing. Cool. Thersadi. His... <laughs> Hold on. Oh, he, he has another full one? Attack. Oh, he does. Cool. He, he will swing at the Korgon fighter who will deflect it off of his steel shield and instantly counterattack. <laughs> That's not cool. For 11 damage. I don't like that. I quite don't now like that. Now it's your turn. So now I'm going to shoot the Korgon. It's rolling really low today. Does 14 hit him? Uh, four, is that... No, it's versus regular AC. It does not. It I does not. I need to get a gun. Nah. Crossbows suck. All right, kind of do. That's it for me. Red. Yes, I can Guns hit are fun. three of the good ones this time. Oh no! I can hit these three. Oh, wait, that's zapple. No, no zippity zapples. Sixteen hit. Huh? Sixteen, 16 does not hit. Okay. Zippity they are wearing zapples. the, the corgos are wearing plate with uh, steel shields. Mm. <gasps> plate. <laughs> Metal armor, you say? To shreds, shreds just, you say? Just fucking <laughs> just all over the inside of her, like, To shreds, you say. Tool belt. <laughs> Actually, I don't think it does any better against metal armor, but... Th that's probably fine, as good as, like, as useful and multi-purpose as it is. I know sometimes spells do that, but... Yeah. Uh, then I will do that thing. Death Ray! Ooh, that is a crit! Well, uh, that's one one dead doggo. Oh, middle Does guy. the doggo in the middle get like a reflex save or anything? Yeah. Yes. 
Huh? He does. Yes. Okay. She does. She does. She is a good pupper. What is the DC? Never mind, she failed. Okay. <laughs> so that's 27 plus 17. That's what, 44? That, those are the attacks. Oh, whoops. Uh, no, 22, so 41. Yeah. Slightly off. Uh, the middle one just takes the nine first damage, though. <laughs> oh, just nine? Yeah. Right. Like, uh, the middle one is not affected by the attack rolls. Just... There we go. The AoE damage. Wow. Light zap. I almost finished off that death priest for you guys, but... Uh, that's the last of my AoE abilities, too, so... Alright, uh, this Corgo howls and flies into a rage uh, upon seeing her compatriot uh, electrocuted to death. Five foot steps up and is going for a uh, full attack with power attack. And so I think that actually hits with the bonus. Yeah. So. Oh, Nurt goes down. Oh, no. Oh, shit, dude. Not yet. God damn it, Seuss. Oh, Nurt's on top of Abby. When did that happen? I don't know. You're the one that was moving him around. Yeah, I don't know. Shit happens. Uh, so I guess the second attack will come at Abby and miss. That's actually fortunate, because I almost had to have her kill Nurt. No! Oof. Alright, Amy, you're up. Hey, don't uh, hurt, I'm Nert. gonna heal Nurt. I expend one of my focuses to do the... The, six, the 86. Oh, wait. Yeah, 86 again. So heal Nert for 25. Alright, Nert blinks her eyes open, but is still laying on her back. Proned. Or uh, supine, I guess would be the correct term, but there's not a D&D &D status for that. True enough. Abby! You nearly got flattened by a minotaur falling. Yeah. Up. Five foot step. And I'm gonna uh, dig around, take out a vial of acid, and uh, start shaking it in front of the Corgon. Do you want it? Do you want it? Come on, come on. O okay, okay. I'll uh, kill you. Go get it. I'll underhand lob it right past the Corgon. Are you lobbing it at the Death Priest? Uh, it can't reach that far. I'm sort of underhand lobbing it to try to encourage canine instincts to, to grab it out of the air. Uh, give me a bluff check. Bluff. That seems like a... or a perf I guess perform, if you have a relevant perform skill, but I think bluff is probably the best. Um, I don't... Uh, I don't have perform. Right. So... bluff. Okay. Uh, she will be momentarily distracted by that. Just distracted? Doesn't actually snatch out and grab it? Uh, she will try to smash it out of the air with her shield. Oh. Does Duggos it explode? Not Duggo enough. Well, it's acid, so... Okay. Just acid right, so it'll on the like, shield. It'll fuck up her shield some. But it's, it's like a heavy steel shield, so it's still kind of good. All right. Um, surprise rat. She's smarter than we gave her credit for. Nobody saw surprise rat, so now he can shoot. Pew, pew. Uh, he misses. Way to go, surprise rat. Dead cultist is dead. My job here is done. But Death you didn't do anything. May soon join them. What other spells did I give you? Uh... <sighs> What is it? What did I make this do? Moderate suck. Suck. Oh, right. Moderate suck with two C's. 
Okay. Uh, he, you know, he's just gonna like scooch up here around the corner. And yeah, I think that's a good good place to channel negative energy from. No, don't do that. That's the last thing you should do. So I think it's a will save to resist that. <laughs> Fucking googly eyes. <laughs> I gotta keep that tab open for like a week now. I mean, I is breaks in you. The the one for me was that stupid picture of that cat talking about like the FBI agent watching him as you drink your sixth bottle of ranch. <laughs> God damn. Fucking picture is so dumb. Alright. Everyone who's not red, uh or an ally of the Death Priest. Uh roll will saves, not to take negative energy damage. Will shave pair of that will shave. Half if you pass, How as do per I usual. Fail this? Uh, Don't you have good hope? You do. Oh yes, I do. Uh -huh. You do. Uh -huh. Champ. How strong will is Nert feeling today? Not strong willed at all. Nert. I don't. I don't know what you expect from her. She, you gave her a cock ring of submission and just make her obey you, and it feels really good all day long. Can't help it. Yeah. Get Nert some armor. Yeah, yeah. At the very least, a cod piece. <laughs> Gotta protect your money that maker. That won't fit. Huh? It's not gonna fit. We'll get a big enough one. Isn't, doesn't Nert have like... Yeah, Nert has like a foot plus of dick. 15 inches. That's a really big cod piece. Yes. Really intimidating. We'll put spikes just, on the just, front. It's, it's just got a huge spike. It's it's just like her fucking battering ram. <laughs> Literally a fucking battering ram. All right. Um. Anywho, uh, did everyone take your uh, your damage from negative energy? Oh, I forgot about Tamak. Hold on. I have evasion, so I took no damage. Isn't evasion only for reflex saves? Is it? Uh, evasion. Yes, it is reflex save. So how much damage? Ah. Oh no! Seventeen. Seventeen. After the okay. half, or that's uh no, it's it's uh eight with the half. Okay. Cool. Boop. All right, there's Sadi. You're Sadi. Um. Well, I think Nert looks pretty hurt, so gonna do some more Nert groping and another cure moderate wounds. Boop. For fourteen. All right, Nert is denertified. And then, By which I mean less dead. And then Nert is going to smush Corgon. Smush. Nert attempts to smush. Uh, that might not smush. Will it smush? It will not. Damn it. Damn it Both Nert. Nert's attacks miss, and she gets to do the sweet Corgo counterattack for eight. Nert! So you are... Nert gave her an extra swing, essentially, with that. Nert, you are quickly losing your evening blowjobs with this poor performance. Uh, you gave me big fat titties. How am I supposed to fight like this? Figure it out or I'll make them bigger. Clearly you need a much larger tail to provide a counterbalance. Tamakos, just give her the rat ring. <laughs> Alternately, we could turn you into a um, centaur. You'd be... Yeah, that would be fun. What would that be? Oh, you'd be a Minotaur. Yeah, that makes sense. A Minotaurin? Minotaurin. 
Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, red. 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 Third least yes, of the One second, somebody's talking to me. Okay. So how has everyone been? I've been fantastic. Special! Yeah. This death priest is apparently the icon I used for High Lord, Ariacus, okay. and Dragonlance. Uh, I will shoot. Wait, th this 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 gal's fiery. Yes. Has anybody used fire damage on her? No. Yes. Uh, yes. She got hit Absinthe by a bomb. Absinthe literally yeah. rolled a bomb between her legs, and she seemed more like relatively unaffected by it. It still slowed her down, okay. hurt her a bit, but. Uh, more, probably more the force of the explosion than the heat. Except absence bombs are 100% fire damage. So. Okay. <laughs> I, I can sort of see a death priest. So. I'm not giving that to you. There are solid walls in the way. Yeah. The, like, this is so... The, the line of sight is a bit back so you can actually see... That's a wall. Like, ...the texture of the wall. But yeah, like th this, this is a wall. Well, then I will pass my turn until I can get inside. Okay. Well, I mean, you can pass through friendly? Well, I guess you... I would have to pass you, through the enemy as well. You could go go next to the Korgon fighter and take an attack of opportunity. No. All right. That is not happening. <laughs> I'm going right. to move uh, She's going to identify Absinthe as the bigger threat. And... Uh, Absinthe is relatively well armored and still packing bark skin. Kaplan skin. So she'll, yeah, she'll go for a regular attack. Does a 28 hit? No. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, on one hand, I feel like some of the enemies you guys are fighting ha just have way too high of uh, to hit values. And then I have a character swing at Absinthe. Who uh, is you're still up. like has less than half of her HP. Yeah, but nothing can hit her. Except for this guy's explosions and negative energy. Magic. Oh, yeah, that's, My one weakness. That hits everything. Mm -hmm. Magic I'm is bullshit. I'm gonna shoot the Corgo with bullet. Not bullet. Her one weakness. No, no. Oh, she's still in really good shape. I cast gun. I'm gonna shift her a bit so you can see. Oh, Nert's still blocking the health bar. Still got pretty good health bar. Uh, that will hit because it's it's touch you. Ah. Touch you, demo. All right, absinthe. Hmm. There's an angry do. -do. Um, I'm going to take a five foot step, and since she's immune to fire, uh, I'm going to encourage the death priest to practice what he preaches, and huck a bomb at him. Uh, do you have the uh, feet that makes it so that you can do ranged attacks without attacks of opportunity? I don't think so. Because, yeah, if you don't, she's going to hit you in the face while you do that. I guess she hits me in the face. Well, she'll try, I guess. That's right. Nothing can hit your face. Yeah, Neville. Alright, uh, hit the death priest in the face. Neville, Apple. Shablam! That'll hit him in the face. Oh, no. The death priest just outright dies. How ironic. And as his corpse lights on fire with skin sloughing off and fat like bubbling and popping uh, a orb of, of pure white light is ejected from his body and Me? lands on the ground next to him metal and then uh, flesh starts erupting out of it god mm. flesh starts erupting out of the orb yeah out of a little glowy orb that came out of his body weird Guys, orbs, there's so no. something going on with some kind of orb dealy down here. It's weird. That doesn't uh, sound good. I've seen a lot of orbs, but none of them like this. I don't really have an appropriate thing, so I'm just gonna just grab a little fireball here. 
Is it like just that like, thing from Akira? It's like a, a, a little ball of light that's just wrapping itself in like fibers of, of like muscle and fat and shit. Hmm. And it's the Death Priest's turn. Uh, he's still doing that thing. So, Thersadi. Uh, I can't see where Thing is doing Thing. Oh, actually, well, I guess Tamak's turn doesn't matter now. No, it didn't matter. He's going to shoot the fucking dog. Hold on. He hits the fucking dog. Yay. Twice. Yay. Tamak is a goddamn legend. All right. Now it's your turn, Thursadi. Sorry about that. Another cure moderate wounds. All right. It's burning through Nert... them. Let's hope that Nert can actually do something with this healing. Please do something. <sighs> Does he not do something? So bad news. Nert still can't roll above a ten. Hmm. That's disappointing. And gets hit in the face. Uh. With a backhand doggo hammer. Oh, the, I forgot. The, the doggos are literally wielding hammers that the back end is like a, a like howling dog face. <laughs> Every time they swing them, it, it makes a howling sound. Okay, that's pretty neat. All right, anyway. Uh, red. Yeah, okay. Um, well, still can't hit shit. Uh, the priest is dead. Um, Gorgon fighter is immune to fire? Resistant. Resistant. Ah, fine, I guess I'll attack it. With my blast rifle. Oh. I'll get a crit. So... Yeah, no damage. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get the goblin! Hammer, hammer. She can't hit you. She's is, just wasting her time. Amy, you're up. Is this fire cargo magic, or is it, like, natural fire cargo? Uh... Like her, she's not fire everywhere. Just like the very tips of some of her fur tufts seem like they're on fire. Uh, interesting. Uh, if you had to guess, you would guess you would think she had some elemental fray. She's a bitch in heat. Uh, 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 you know what, Thursadi, have advantage for that because uh, <laughs> that had not even occurred to me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> See, or inspiration, I think okay. that's the, okay. the 5e term. Yeah. I'm, I'm borrowing the good parts of 5e. <laughs> and then using Try it for more. shitty puns. That'll hit. Let's see if we can extinguish this pupper. Slowly, slowly chipping her down. Absinthe, there's a doggo. It's a stalemate. There is Nothing a doggo. Stalemate. I'm less concerned about the doggo and more about this weird orb. I want to try and figure out something about it. What would that be? Arcana? Uh, spellcraft. 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 What is going on with this orb? Alright. Uh, spooky flesh orb. It, it seems to be some sort of reincarnation spell. Oh no! Reincarnation? Not on my watch. Let's see if it likes bombs! What if he gets reincarnated as a bomb now? Well, that would be very short-lived. Alright, that will kill it. Uh, uh, the Corgon just can as um, get a free attack on me, though. Because right. I forgot to move out. Nope. Alright, so just as it's starting to, like, sprout human-like features and it looks almost like a curled-up infant uh, bomb lands on it and just fucking melts it into burnt meat. 
Death Gross thing, Death Priest. Also, having a rebirth thing as being part of a Death Priest is weird. It, like, goes against your whole thing. Dead thing should stay dead. And on that note, he's still dead. Oh, no. Uh, Tamak the <sighs> Rock uh, will continue to pepper the Corgo and actually hit it again. He's found his good rolls once more. <laughs> Chipping away at it. Red, you're up. Is she? It's my turn, isn't it? Thursada, you're up. I skipped you by accident. <laughs> <laughs> um, yep, Nert's going to do her thing. All right, Nert is going to take one hit from El, El Dago here, but will hit, actually hit with a second swing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, lag. Get with the program. There we go. All right, so Nert hits the Dago for 20 damage, the biggest hit anyone has done yet. Wow. And the Dago stumbles back reeling. Well, I mean, Minotaur with a big-ass great axe. You're going to hit hard if you actually hit. The trouble's I mean, been yeah. actually hitting. And then there's that he's just going to keep pumping healing into her. With her last cure moderate wounds. Cool. And red. Now it's actually your turn. The doggo uh, has a sliver. Yeah, I don't think I can actually, like or the dog out. Um, like, hey, max damage is 10. Uh, 11, I guess. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. Alright, you puff, puff, pass. And it's the Corgo's turn. Still trying to avenge her fallen buddy. <gasps> She crit happy. edge and confirmed it. Mm -hmm. uh, See, that's uh, the problem edge. with having such a high AC. Um, when you get hit, you, you get hit hard. But yeah, uh, twenty-four damage, Edge. Oh no! Absence unconscious. Oh no! The stalemate oh, is shit. ended. Amy, it's your turn. Well. The mighty blow from her hammer. The Korgon sends Absinthe reeling back into the wall to collapse in a bloodied heap. What do you do? What's the Korgon's health bar looking like? Uh, a sliver. Ah, uh, okay. Going to Everyone is a shooter. sliver. shooter but uh no hit. yeah it does not drop but is good hope affect damage i don't think so i could be wrong that's a thursati question do what now does good hope does affect good? damage it do it do okay so <laughs> the corgo is still still up oh magic pixel <laughs> Uh, that took off half her hit points. <sighs> um, Abby's down, so her turn doesn't mean much. Mm -hmm. It's up to Tamak. Tamak has got to save the day. Here he comes. Do it, No, no, the, too him. much pressure. Uh, alright, Tamak will fail his, his shots. Rapid shot is still a standard attack, right? Or standard yeah, action. part of a full attack action. Are you sure? I thought it, like that was the good thing about it. Uh, oh, you're right. Okay. Uh, no, the was right. I was wrong. Be. I was wrong. All right, Thursati, it's up to you. Balls in your court. Mm -hmm. uh, or actually, that's the balls in Nert's court. Nert has all the balls. Nert will miss. Corgo uh, will punch Nert in the in the nose. Stop missing. I'm trying. 
Um, this little dog is just made of armor and fire. Anger. Grumpiness. Um. Mm, well, about the only thing I have left, I can't heal absent. I am out of spells. So, choose them. Get a crit. That is not a crit. No. All right, Red. It's up to you. To 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 what? Kill the to thing. do something. Force feed absent the potion. Or that. Well, I don't have potions. I have lots of potions on me, but none of them are labeled. I'm not going to kill uh, absent. <laughs> I like how. <laughs> How uh, Edge set Absinthe up to die. There's like, I have lots of Wait. potions. Absinthe's healing things are pills. I have a lot of pills also. Are any of them <laughs> uh, negative? None of them are Third? negative. No. no. Ah, ah, sh- sh- okay. That's too meta. Okay. Too meta. Th- there are pills there, Third. Pills yes. here. I will feed Absinthe a pill. Okay. You're gonna have to move up to her at least. Uh, can Squeeze I squeeze in, in there next to Nert? Yeah, sure. Okay. Pills here. Oh boy. Uh, all right, Edge. How many pills you got? Oh boy. Um. Let's see. I have five, ten, eleven, twelve. 15, 16, 17, 18, 22, 23. That's a lot of pills. 23 pills on me. Oh, uh, 24. All right. Count down that list and find number 16. 16. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, 10, 15. Uh, that was a pill of fox's cunning. Plus four intelligence for six minutes. <laughs> that helps. I'm feeling very clever for a corpse. Uh, in, a, in a spark of brilliance, you think to yourself, I should have labeled my pills. Or color coded them. Something. Oh, this is fucking slaying me. Uh, well, hopefully it doesn't slay abs. Oh, uh, yeah, hopefully. Uh, All right, cool. Can, oh. can, can I attempt to also talk to the Corgon? Sure. I will ask her politely to lay down arm. You're politely asking her to lay down? Yes. Uh, Fuck no. I'm gonna kill you all. No. Sit, girl. No. Sit. I've already taken down your strongest fighter. Actually, she was kinda, you know... The your strongest fighter. She was the healer. Now you've just pissed off Could've the rest of the me. party. Oh, how many you turns can't... have I had? I'm supposed to be making a constitution check to see if I stabilize. Uh, I think just, just one so far. Okay. Uh, constitution. Ten. Do, 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 don't die. Uh, do, do, do. Dying creature is unconscious. Creature is negative hit points. Uh... Character must make a DC 10 constitution check to become stable. Yeah, you marry me, you're stable. Right. Uh, stable. All right. Um, yeah. Corgo Borgo tries to attack third. Uh, Red, I, I think your AC is probably high enough that an 11 18? does not hit. Yeah. Yeah, she whiffs. She's got some of those Tamak rolls. Whiffs. Amy, you're up. Tamak, the I mightiest warrior roll? of all. Can I roll higher than minimum damage? Who knows? Tune in next time to find out. No, I can't. We're not doing that. Oh my, if you had rolled that last turn, Absinthe would st- or last time, I think Absinthe would still yeah. be. Yeah. The Corgo Literally. Is yeah. Yeah, the Death Priest is just super dead. Cool, yeah. you're out of combat. You killed everyone. Now we can Jeez. shove more pills in Absinthe's mouth. We did it. Wait, let me check if I have any potions. I know. Oh, no, I don't. Just keep stuffing pills in there. One of them will work. 
Uh, I'm going to search Death Priest. Or what's left of him. I do. I have a potion of cure light wounds. What's left of his giblets? I also have that potion of desert what's a it? but that's not going to help here. I have my Gatorade thing. <laughs> I'll feed her the cure light wounds potion. I fucking love that item. The fucking item is so dumb, but it's so awesome. <laughs> Uh, I'm back. Bottle of eternal electrolytes. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Uh, Tamak will also give Abby a potion of moderate wins. Well, I have um, okay. some holy energy to start um, flashing everybody with. Cool. Uh, do do do. Positive energy. Oh no, you've made a terrible mistake! Hot pushed. So everybody heals 18. You see, you thought I was joking by that? No, wait. Unless you have selective channel, the Korgon standing back up. Well, the Korgon gets healed, and then we bonk her again. Everyone roll initiative. It's happening again. <sighs> Can you heal? I think uh, everything else is, is dead, dead. But uh, she she was just barely down. Can you heal? What's her butt? Ner huh. Oh yeah. So that was what eight total healing? Eight, no more than that. Eighteen. Oh, a Abby did a bunch. Okay, I gotta give the Corgo some more. Corgo should have like what? 16 14 We'll go with that Terrible decisions were made Your most hated foe has come back to life Abby, you're up <laughs> Your most hated foe is next to you <laughs> Hey, surrender uh, Intimidate check Put my hands on my hips and swish my demon tail and give her a big ol' angry face. Mm. Intimidation. Grr. Arg. Grr. Arg. Ah, uh, yeah, she ain't intimidated. She she believes she has conquered death and returned to smite her foes from the underworld. Red. Yep. <sighs> oh wait, no wait, Tamak. Tamak's gonna five foot step back. Oh. And fucking unload. Fucking unload! <laughs> Seven damage. <laughs> he just starts ramboing into the crowd. And right, now you got red. Ah. Uh... <gasps> no, that wasn't a sneak. No, I don't have anything I can use. Um. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Alright, puff puff pass. They're Saudi. Uh uh Nert gonna thing and they're Saudi gonna shoost. Alright, Nert will will thing and hopefully not get stabbed in the face for it. Uh okay, well we all knew how that was gonna happen. It's just Nert uh just cannot roll roll well at all. Constant unending garbage. Mm. Shoot away, my friend. Uh, twenty six. Four seven. Did I miss a roll? Yes. Oh yeah. Yep, that'll drop her back down to uh, on the ground. Good. Combat over. You did it. <laughs> Sit. Sorry about that, guys. I thought everyone was dead, so we were gonna kill all the cultists. Uh, yep, so she's laying there with her tongue blepped out. Blep, I mean. Not dead yet. Why, are, is there a reason we haven't? I mean, everyone else, I think, just took enough damage that they outright died. Or there was enough rounds that they bled out. Except for the death priest. Or they were cultists with only... Yeah. 
no HP. Did that pill I feed you do any good, Absinthe? Uh, I feel smarter. Slightly. <laughs> uh, maybe you should label them. Huh. How would you label pills? They're so tiny. You color code them. Yeah. Blue for healing. Green for enhancement. But then it would stain your tongue. Weird colors. That's half the fun. Isn't that a bonus? Well, but then... Hmm. I mean, but after you pop too many, it'll just be a, an icky brown color. Well, you shouldn't pop more than one at once. You're not the boss of me. I can stop anytime I want. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Get reaction. Anyway, you guys find the mushroom. I'm going to do things to this Corgon around the uh, corner here. I'm going to drag her around the corner. <laughs> okay, it's a mock well. All right, well, I'm going to... Search Death Priestman. All right. Uh, so he's wearing a tattered ass robe. Yep. It's pretty gross. Yeah. Pretty, pretty gross. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm, 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 he has a, a potion hanging from his hip. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. And a cock ring on his wrinkled old man cock. Does it look like the ones I have? Uh, no, it's a little different. Uh, I'll take the potion and the cock ring. Okay, you have a mystery potion that you have not identified, and a cock ring that you have not identified. Uh, does the robes radiate magic at all? Nope. Cool. Does the cock ring radiate magic? Yep. I'm going to try and identify either one, the potion or the cock ring. Well, uh, specify which one you're going to try to identify let's, and then roll for it. Let's do the cock ring. Uh, that is Knowledge Arcana for Detect Magic, I believe. I believe in a thing called love. Just as in the rhythm of my heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to take 10 on that, Knowledge Arcana, so 25. Except it's a spellcraft check, get wrecked. Is it? We we had this whole discussion the last time something was identified. Yes. Identification of spellcraft. I've probably been doing it wrong forever. You can make a knowledge arcana check to determine a school of magic involved in each. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, identify its properties of spellcraft. You're right. My bad. Uh, spellcraft, then. Let's give it a try. Ten. It, uh, yeah, it's, it's a ring. Mm. Let's try the potion. Okay. It's definitely a potion. Are you fucking kidding me? Haha, <laughs> I'm not. That's my secret. Um, I'm never kidding. All right. How about I can, identify? I can also <laughs> identify. Cast identify, and I'm going to try it again. It's too late, Absinthe. You're doing things around the corner. I know. I'm just saying. For the future. So, cock ring plus 10. Jesus Christ. So, 20. Yes. All right. It's it's the it's a cock ring of the true breeder. Oh. Uh, while worn, this cock ring ensures that all offspring fathered will breed true to their father's race exclusively. Huh. All right. Boop. Fancy. And then. Beep. Man, I'm just collecting these cock rings. Um, <laughs> I almost need like a second cock to put another one on. Sew them all together and make a cock sock ring. Ooh, that'd be fun. <laughs> um, all right, mystery potion plus ten. Let's see if I can get another ten. Your cock Chinese finger no. trap. Eighteen. Twenty-eight. It's a, okay. It's a death proof potion. Death proof potion. Yep. So apparently, uh, it's a rare potion made using one of those mushrooms that you guys are looking for uh, that makes you capable of surviving even death uh, and building your spirit a new body 
uh, moments after your passage. Ooh, that sounds so it only the, the body is only like uh, like a seven year or eight year old kid. Hmm. Well, that's better than dying. So yeah, you, you drink the potion and it lasts until you die. Cool. Well, I'll hang on to that for now. Of course, if someone blows up your like your your baby midway through forming. Yeah. Womp. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. Uh, did you have that? <laughs> I can just I can see the thirst in absence furious typing. <laughs> <laughs> The potion thirst. But she doesn't know about the potion. <laughs> oh. Uh, I mean, she can probably make more of it, so I'm... Anyway, that's all he had. Alright, cool. What everyone else want to do? Is this a chest? Uh, huh? Is this a chest? I think those are bar- I the, I guess, barrels. I, guess, I think those are just stacked barrels. Oh, okay. uh, if you're like looting the buildings so while everyone else is doing stuff, uh, that tent third... You do find two potions in it. Two potions. Do I find anything in this tent? Uh, you find a nose ring and two peppers. I nose ring. Is the say. nose ring glowy. It is glowy, oh. as are the peppers. I will identify the potion. All right. Using detect and a spellcraft. Yep. I should really get spell crafting. Well, if you want to bring it over here, I have That's where I'm identify going. still running. Alright. Uh third, those are potions of tranquilization. Ooh. DC twenty four check to stay awake and cannot be woken up for three minutes afterwards. Potion that sounds of pretty useful. okay. Great 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 for Oh wait, never mind, I do have spellcraft. Hooray. I have six <laughs> ranks in spellcraft. Well, I get a plus 10 with Identify still on. Yeah, I'll still, like, give it over to... Alright. So will... Does Identify last for more than... I thought it was just, like, an instant spell. No, I think... Let me double check. Identify. Identify! Three rounds per level. Okay. Uh, so I'm level 8, so a couple minutes. Do it to it, then. Yep. What are you identifying? The... Nose ring, and then the peppers. Okay. okay. Uh, boop, and boop. All right. Um. Yeah, you're not really sure about either of them. Damn it. With a twenty-five. With a twenty-five. Wait. Oh, right. There's plus ten on each of those. Uh, the first one was the nose ring, right? Yes. All right. It's a nose ring of protection. Plus two. Ooh. And the peppers are canine peppers of uh, Corruption of Champions fan. Uh, Ruby. Wait, what was the nose ring? Of protection plus nose two. Nose ring of protection. Ah. Plus two. Well, somebody else enjoy that nose ring. <laughs> That's, we'll find you a clit ring someday. Uh, how about this tent? This well, uh, which tent? Yeah, that tent. If no one else wants uh, it, I'll either give it to Nurt or Hirsadi will wear it herself. Reddit has some bedrolls with lice. No, oh, no. I will not since, go through the bedroll. So she's going very bovine anyway. Anyone using any of the things that you just got? Uh, well, I don't need to put that cock ring on. Uh, if nobody wants the nose ring, uh, their Saudi will probably pop it in. All right. Uh, Anybody want to fight her for the nose ring? What's your AC 14. right now? All right, you can have it. <laughs> All right. 
Thursadi, roll me a 1d2. 1d2, you say? Oh, boy. Two! Wow. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so you pop in the nose ring. And uh, the first person you see after doing so is Nert. Yep. And then you realize the nose ring is cursed. It's oh, a nose ring of slavery, and that Nerd is your master. <laughs> mm. Well, luckily we have that uh, cock ring of suggestion on, so... <laughs> Two are each other's masters. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So yeah, you guys, you guys both have to obey each other now. It's like we're married. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me get like the specific notes I have on that for you since I didn't have a handout made I don't think oh. yeah cock ring of slavery uh, the first uh, you know, I got, I'll just and make nose ring of here. slavery these, I, I think yeah that's what I meant uh, these, these are gonna be <laughs> like this sort of thing this isn't the last time we've seen this sort of ridiculousness oh my god how do you increase your uh, AC right. with these things? It does still give you AC, by the way. Yeah. Right. Did, did it pop up for you guys? Yep. Uh, it's way more crudely written than the rest because it wasn't meant to be a handout. But... Uh... Well, uh, when you when you say that to Mox, like, well, I guess it's the humane thing to do, and he unzips. Uh, but first, he, he puts the ring of rat control on her, because it makes her hotter. Uh, and then he starts going to pound town. <laughs> I'm not sure how this is going to help anything, but, uh, yeah. He's down. <laughs> I don't think Hale's going to give you any sign on that one, by the way. Fair enough. Uh, so let me pop this in my inventory. Yeah, you cannot unequip that, by the way. I figured. She's just gonna rock the whole cow look now. And you literally, your character cannot, like, think of Nert as Nert. All that comes out is master or mistress, depending on what gender you see them as. Uh, do I not get to make the will save? You can make the save. Every time you uh, want to. But, yeah, like, that's that's gonna be a lot of saves to roll, and you're probably gonna fail a lot of them. Fair enough. Yay! <laughs> I'm glad you both found that and put it on. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious to see how the fuck the Korgon uh, to good plan is going to work out. But... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. See. Now I'm curious about what the the cock ring actually does. I mean, he was actually wearing that one, so we can assume it's probably not a... Do you want me a... to take a closer analysis? Uh, sure, why not? Because I will give it a close look if you are suspicious. You know, wash it off first, you know? And then I'll take a look. Just, like, press the digitate it. Ah, uh, never mind, I have not clue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you don't even think it's magic. Like it was, it's it's just like fucking glamoured to seem more magic than it is. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tamak busts a nut and then takes his ring back. Oh, what is all this? The dice rolls. Yes. I'm using uh, cleric spells to heal myself with the mercy of hail. Mm, the fickle mercy of hail. Fortunately, with all the murder you're doing, you're in his good graces. Hooray! Did she have anything interesting on her when I took all her gear off? Um... Let me find the Corgo Borgos. Corgon Fighter. Full plate, heavy steel shield, Howl Hammer, which is just like a cool masterwork Warhammer. 
And uh, one potion of stolen vitality. Neat. I take that. Which is um, because you're you, and there's no need to get crazy with making you identify it. Three D ten plus five hit points upon imbibing. Woo. I'll keep the dark. Uh, and then go in here. So, where's the mushroom? To, to Mox, like, so, um, are we just are we just leaving her here? Tied up and cream pied? Sure, why not? Okay. Gets my vote. We grab the mushroom, we turn it in, we officially finish our first big mission as a, a business. I don't see any mushrooms. I mean, no. well, what's this? Over here. this might not have been the That's only people in here. Huh? That's a curtain. Yes, yeah, so I said that. Okay. Yep. The gate curtain. Only there was some so we way to get number through one. this curtain. Hmm. Uh, the I curtain blowing at all? I pull it. Could be open. All right, you pull open the curtain. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. It looks like some sort of evil mushroom. There are a bunch of cultists with a bunch of mushrooms and a huge pile of skeletons. Oh, and at the sight of you, one of the cultists slits his wrists and jumps into the pit. It's weird. You guys are weird. And your cult is not self-sustaining. That's usually counterintuitive. Most cults are do we actually Another one does it. Do we actually have to roll initiative, or do we just wait it out and they all kill themselves? That's up to you. Can I make some kind of? I'm gonna roll initiative. Okay. Hey, if they want to kill themselves, well, unless this like sparks the. Uh, hey, if I can kill them before we get in, before they get into the pit. How do you? How do you add this AC to? I think. Uh, do initiative if you're going to do it, guard. Alright. Doop do. Hey, this cultist throws himself into the pit and dies. Blech. Thursadi. Uh, There's three cultists. Well, two cultists you can see. Go to this one. defenses and put up the deflect AC. Magic her. You you lightly graze him. Excellent. I'm not going to bother adjusting his health bar. Uh, Amy, what'd you say? Um, uh, go to go to defenses and yep. pump up deflect on the oh, AC right. bar. Cool. There we go. And I'm going to steal this cultist's health. I can't. Which one? What does Nertsy? Nertsy's that. This one. Alright. Shustim. Shustim! Bump on my way up here. Oh! Okay, you killed that one. All right, and uh, yeah, so he's dead. Uh, he kills himself into the pit. Mm. Because why not, right? Uh, yeah, this guy kills himself into the pit. I think that's everyone. Yeah, they're all, they're all dead. Their parents are dead. And it's at this point that the bones and corpses in the middle begin fusing together. Fuck! 
twisting around each other into a new, misshapen, horrific mushroom-like form. Oh, jeez. What? It's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. <laughs> so all the corpses are gone. All the skeletons and most of the mushrooms here. Just gotta vacuum. Do these look like the mushrooms that we're looking for? Uh, yes. We could, like, possibly incinerate this thing. But we could also kill it, and that's a lot of mushroom. That is a lot of mushroom. Should we reroll initiative? Uh, you guys that are already on the board are fine. If anyone else wants to act, I recommend rolling initiative. Uh, and I think this might actually, once we get the initiative board loaded up, might be a good spot to stop for the night. Hey, I finally rolled not shit. What's the name of the mushroom monster? Uh, mushroom gold. Mushroom monster. Violet shroom. I I'm terribly unoriginal with names. Oh. And was gold shroom. Working on a, uh... Yeah. No, no, I'm just gonna call it hell shroom. How like yeah. oh, tantalizing. Shroom guine? Like, like sanguine, but shroom. Now, if we would have, like, came in here, guns a blazing, killed all the oh, cultists, actually, would it just. Wait, wait, one of the cultists didn't make it, so I am going to reduce its hit points for that. Yay. Mushroom. That'd be, that'd be a good Pokemon. If we'd, like, come in here, guns a-blazing, and killed all the cultists, would it just be a Skeletrum? <laughs> so... It will start off wounded. Yay! So, descending, everyone's on the board for next week. Thank you for coming, guys. It's gonna be time for a boss fight when we come back. Uh, thanks everybody watching this on YouTube. If you enjoyed it, give me a like. If not, burn my channel down to the ground. Good night.